Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. My name is Sally Sparks, and I'm coming, and I'm coming from, from, from Asheville, North Carolina, Carolina, where we, where we usually, usually would be doing, doing streamside stream concerts, concerts, concerts from our from home, our home, home, home concerts. concerts. And when, and when all of this happened, of this happened we, we reached out to some friends, out to some friends and started a concert series, started a concert series, uh, uh, online concerts, uh, and online concerts, a great and time we've been having a great time connecting people and also important Gig opportunities, gig for opportunities. For We've had Granya and had Granya Billy, and uh, play with us, uh, play with us, here in our for the lovely evening. And, um, and, and um, I hope they can come back sometime. Come back sometime. Come back sometime. Um, um, but um, but um, you know, we're looking forward to looking forward to uh, an afternoon or an evening. An afternoon or where you are, or where you are. Um, Bringing music, bringing right music from, the, right from Ireland, the Ireland, in Ireland. So, um, so um, our partners, our partners, the Keep Music Live project, the Keep Music Live uh, project, include, uh, include Dream Guitars, Dream Guitars, Board Journal, Board the Journal, Journal, the Asheville Music the School, Asheville Asheville Music School, 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 for these online concerts, right. for these yeah. online so far concerts. a great success. And so far a great success. Any more? I won't hold it. We'll get I won't straight. Hold it. We'll get straight. Uh, uh, everybody, just, uh, everybody just relax. Uh, relax. Enjoy the I'll, 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 I'll be putting some banners up. Putting some banners up. And we hope you'll join us again. Thanks. Well, hello everyone. Um, I'm always delighted to be here. And thanks so much to Sally for making this possible. We had a lovely concert there at her house. Um, a, a number of years ago now and um, we're delighted to be part of this initiative um, bringing music to you from our home here in Mayo. So um, as you can see it's just myself here at the moment. Um, the, we have, um, Billy's going to be playing for you in a little while. Um, I'm going to be starting off with some tunes from Ireland to begin and a few Irish pieces and then he'll play some Scottish pieces for you. And then we'll play the latter part of the concert will be together. So it will be about 90 minutes in total. And of course, um, the, the nice thing about you all being at home is that you'll be able to, you know, make yourself a cup of tea or whatever you're having um, as we go along. So I'm going to start off um, with a few pieces. Well, I should warn you first, this is the first time we've ever done a live stream concert. So hopefully we won't have any glitches, but um, there are. Um, apologies in advance, we're doing our best with our small world of Wi-Fi. And we'll start off anyway with a few things for you. The first one is called Breach Harpers. The second is, um, a Breach Harper is a fiddle player from Donegal, in case some of you don't know that. The second tune is called Old Man Dillon. And then the third tune is a beautiful tune called The Greenfields of Woodford, which I learned originally from a lovely recording by Angelina Carberry called Memories from the Hall. And I'm just going to turn down the, the light here so that you can get a better view as well.
sides. So before I go on, I'm just going to make sure that um, all everything is good for the sound and everything like that. So, um, like so, okay, let me see. Okay, so do you think the, yeah, I'm sorry now, we have only the computer, so we don't have them um, to very, I'm going to try to um, turn the input volume down. Should I do that, Sally? Will I try to turn the input volume down slightly? Yeah, okay, so just give me one second. Let's see if we can get this a little bit better here. Um, one moment now. Right, we'll give this a try and um, hopefully that'll be okay. And then somebody can um, send a message if there's any, any trouble, okay, if it's too quiet now, okay. So um, I'm going to continue now with two tunes by Ireland's most famous harper composer, which is Turlough O'Carolan. I'm sure many of you have heard of him, but I see people are watching from um, all over the place, from Australia and Canada, and in fact, I think very early in the morning in Australia, so thank you for joining us. Um, the the Turn of O'Carolan, just for anyone who might not be familiar with him, he was born in 1670, so he this is actually the 350th anniversary of his birth. And um, we were in America there um, just before St. Patrick's Day doing some concerts, and one of them was as part of a festival celebrating the birth, the 350th anniversary of um, Johann Sebastian Bach's birth, um, which happened to also coincide with, with Carolyn's birth. Um, so we weren't playing any music by Bach, we were playing Carolyn pieces. But um, basically, Carolyn was a blind harp player. He actually went blind as a teenager through smallpox, and he ended up then taking up the harp, and um, he basically made his living travelling all over Ireland on horseback with a guide, and he would visit the homes of the wealthy landlords and in return for their hospitality, he would um, compose tunes as well as entertaining them and um, maybe teaching the children of the house. But for us, the most exciting thing that he did it was um, compose a huge amount of tunes. So over 200 of his pieces have survived. A lot of them also will be songs in the Irish language, but um, sadly or not so sadly, depending on your perspective, um, I'm not a very good singer, so I'm not going to attempt to sing any of them for you, but I am going to play two of them. Um, the first one is, like many of his pieces, named after a particular patron. So this one is dedicated to a woman called Eleanor Plunkett, and it's one that's played and loved by harp players and other musicians all over the world, I think. And then I'll follow that with another tune, which shows the opposite side of patronage, because if you were generous, Carolyn would immortalise you for your generosity and all that type of thing. But if you were not generous, you could also be immortalised for the wrong reasons. So this is one that he wrote called Carolyn's Quarrel with the Landlady. And that was about a woman who um, was basically um, refused to serve him whiskey. And so um, as a result of that, he composed this tune. Um, I think it's a lovely tune though myself, so I'm not sure um, if he wrote that for like some of his enemies, um, I don't know, but anyway, it's called Carolyn's Quarrel with the Landlady, and in that tune you can hear the influence of Italian Baroque music, so I hope you like this tune. <laughs>
Um, the harp was kind of had its own special repertoire. In Caroline's time, um, the harpists were coming more in contact with um, other musicians and singers. But this is an example of um, a harp tune that was absorbed into the tradition. Um, it was set with words by actually a poet, a Scottish poet called Thomas Campbell, which is called The Wounded Hussar. Um, and then that um, piece with those lyrics became part of the Shanno singing tradition. So um, it's one of my favourite stories. So I'm going to... Um, play that for you now, The Wounded Hazar, and I'll follow that with a hornpipe called The Humours of Tully Crying, and then after that, Billy will be getting ready to come and join me then. Um, how are we doing with the sound? We all good? See. Hopefully, well, it's going. So this is um, The Wounded Hazar and The Humours of Tully Crying. <laughs>
see about the um, the sound and stuff too while Billy is playing. So. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us this Easter weekend. I uh, hope you're all well. Very difficult time for everyone, a very strange time, a sad time for a lot of people. So we hope the music helps a little bit. Um, when we look out the window here, everything seems normal. The, the lambs are running around and uh, we're waiting for the swallows to come back. But uh, obviously things are not quite normal. So I'll start off with a few tunes now. Uh, <clears throat> First tune is called Rowing from Isla to Uist. Play this for my friend Ian up in Uist who's listening. And second tune is called Sky Dance for Billy up in Sky and uh, Harris Dance. Uh, the first tune, uh, Rowing from Isla to Uist, was actually orchestrated and used as the, the opening theme music for an old classic film, Whiskey Galore, the original version. So.
Thanks very much. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to continue with the tune which made me famous, uh, followed by the tune which put me back into obscurity again. And uh, I was living in Asheville, North Carolina for 10 years. I lived on a balanced diet of haggis and grits. And uh, while I was there, I took delivery of a new harp, which actually belonged to Grania. And uh, it was brand new, so I had, to, I had to tune the harp for a long time. And uh, over the course of many weeks, I gradually made up this little tune. So I called it the new harp. Um, I'm always amused by the things that people say to us about harps when we're on our travels. And we were recently in Florida and I heard two ladies talking beside our harps at the interval. And one of them said to the other, I love these harps, they stand up. And then she turned to me and said, some harps fall over when you walk away from them, don't they? And uh, I said, well, it depends if you've just knocked them over or not. But uh, these harps do stand up most of the time. And um, I'll play this tune for you now. It's called The New Harp. I know you're all clapping like mad out there. Um, play another couple of tunes before Grania comes back. And we're hoping that the electricity doesn't cut out because we live very remote here and sometimes things cut out. But don't worry, we have backup. We have a little donkey on a treadmill which is working our backup generator. So Grania's just gone down to give it some more carrots to um, keep it going. And uh, I'll play a tune by William Marshall. It's called Chapel Keithak and it's followed by a tune called Sir Sidney Smith's March.
Now, I'm, I'm back again. I'm, I'm getting all the comments here. Poor Billy's not getting to see any of them. Um, on the, the phone here, I particularly like the two donkeys. Um, somebody sent in a, in a message there, Billy. Um, and also, Leslie says hello as well. So I'm um, getting lots of lovely comments here. So, oh, and I promised I would speak louder this time. So um, I'll, I'll try my best and hopefully you can um, hear me a bit better. I'll try to project a bit more. So um, we're going to start off now playing together with one of our favorite tunes, which is an old harp tune called Eile Gyal Huyn. And this particular piece um, was composed by a harp player in the 17th century and then was later set with lyrics by a Scottish poet um, called the Highland Chieftain. So um, this is um, one, of, one of our favourites. It's actually the first piece we ever arranged as a duet and we've been playing it now ever since, which I won't say how long ago that was, but it's been one of our favourites ever since. So. Okay. <laughs> We actually have two of our biggest fans in the audience tonight and they're sitting on the couch over here and they're very well behaved. 
and uh, they might be falling asleep, I'm not sure. That's the effect we have on people. So uh, we're going to continue with a, a tune that's again played in both Scotland and Ireland. Uh, in Scotland it's, it's called Lady Keith's Lament. And in Ireland it's more of a marching tune called Boyne Water. <clears throat> and it was in fact played at the Battle of the Boyne in 1690. And it was such a popular marching tune in the armies that in that battle both armies marched to the same tune. And a lot of these tunes weren't just about walking in time or marching. Sometimes a melody was a signal, just much like you would have on a bugle or a trumpet. Uh, could be a melody, could indicate something. And um, anyway, that's the Boyne Water. And it's followed by a gavotte from Brittany. And we don't really know the name of this. So, thank you very much. harp piece called Rory Dahl's Sister's Lament and it was in fact written by an Irish harper who was from uh, Derry. He was a gentleman harper so he had land and uh, property in Derry and uh, he went to the west of Scotland to, to find all the other harpers and all the places where there was basically money for people to commission pieces and there was a lot more sponsorship of the harp over there. Uh, near Derry anyway in those days 
and this is from the 1640s and uh, written by Rory Dallow Cahan and um, it's followed by tune on the concertina with Grania. We were forced to learn to play other instruments because when we tour with harps when we're flying sometimes the harps don't arrive at the airport when we do so we had to kind of learn other things to get a concert going while we found our instruments what we're going to play the concertina. Um, yeah so on the concertina the two videos we're going to play are called Sonny's Return which is also known as Paddy Lynn's Delight and the second tune is Bell Harbour Reel, which is associated with the great concertina player Chris Droney, who lived in Bell Harbour in County Clare. <laughs>
very much. Um, we're going to continue now with um, an old harp tune. Um, I, I should have probably mentioned earlier, a lot of the old pieces that were playing, they would originally have been played on the early Irish harp or the wire strung harp, which had wire strings. And harp players would have played with long fingernails in the past. Um, and this particular tune was published in a collection in 1724, which was, oh yeah, I'm going to go louder here, which is called the Neil Collection. And this is a book that was um, published in Ireland, the first collection to be published in Ireland. And it was re-released actually um, there a number of years ago as a facsimile edition. So this tune is called The Clergy's Lamentation. And we're going to follow it with a slip jig by a friend of ours from Belfast, Patrick Davy. And I know Patrick was watching earlier. I'm not sure if he's still there or not, but he's going to be doing a concert at some stage over the next week. So if you like his music um, or if you like terrible jokes, um, you can watch out for that. And, and it's Davy music or Patrick Davy. You can watch out for that. And the tune is called the um, Burma Road. Which <laughs> Burma Road, which was named after a railway line between Sligo and Clermoris, which is where we live. Um, we'd like to dedicate this selection to um, all the people watching from Chattanooga because we were over on tour, as I mentioned earlier, in March, and unfortunately we had to cancel um, our final two concerts. And one of the, the performances we missed out on was. Um, was um, Chattanooga and I know some people there were sending messages that they're watching from there so we're delighted that we're able to to meet you kind of virtually and that you're able to hear some of the music even though it's not quite the same but um it's it's fun anyway hopefully so um this is for you and thanks Patrick I saw your comment there I didn't mean what I said about the bad jokes they're they're great yeah <laughs> Unusually warm here, so I'm not used to it being as warm today.
Worm Road and um, the Clergy's Lamentations. So I um, hope that you're enjoying those. Now I just noticed there it's actually nine o'clock right now and in Ireland um, the whole country is having an initiative called Shine Your Light where um, people have been asked to light a candle or shine a light, turn on a light to show kind of our support for all those who are sick or who have passed away or um, most especially those who are um, working on the front lines. So we can't put on any more lights than we have already or we'll probably blow, blow a fuse. But um, if you just want to shine your light there, this is our kind of virtually we're shining a light here. So um, that's, that's what's happening right now around Ireland. If you look out your windows, you might see some lights. Actually, there are no windows in view from where we are here. So, <clears throat> so um, continue with a tune from Shetland. It's called The Day Dawes. In a tune, I believe it was usually played at Solstice. And uh, it's a very old melody. And it's followed by a hop jig called The Promenade. Just a wee, wee difference between Scottish pitch and Irish pitch.
to continue on now um, with an old harp tune again. This is a tune, well, I talked about Turlipo Carolyn, so he was the most famous harper and composer, but there were also many others. And this particular tune was written by um, one of two brothers who lived in County Sligo, Thomas and William Connellan. And over 700 tunes are attributed to them, but only a handful have survived. So I'm not sure um, how many they actually wrote, but um, this is one that they did write. It's called Molly McAlpin. And this tune is sometimes known as Carolyn's Dream because um, the story goes that Carolyn said that he wished he had written this tune. So we're going to play Molly McAlpin and then we'll follow it with um, a hornpipe version of the same tune called Paul Hapney which kind of is an example of how um, the tune um, evolved, became absorbed into the tradition and changed as time went along. So you can um, see, have a close listen and see if you can recognise um, it as being from the same original tune. Thank you. 
So um, I'm going to continue with the well-known Scottish uh, melody, McCrimmon's Lament, and uh, it's followed by an Irish tune called Brosna Slide. Sign of the times. I have to wear glasses now. Even starting to lose my hair.
So, um, so here's the tune I did write a um, long time ago as part of the Well Park Suite and that was in 1985, can't believe it. Uh, I've been waiting 45 years to be discovered overnight. Um, I kind of get the feeling it's going to happen any day now. Um, so I'm hanging in there. Um, the first uh, tune we're going to play is called Fermentation. So this, this whole piece was commissioned by a famous brewery in Glasgow. Uh, <laughs> And it was to, to celebrate the 100th anniversary, but also to celebrate the history of Glasgow. And so the piece didn't have to be connected to making beer, but I actually read up on it a little bit and decided that fermentation was quite uh, inspirational in the whole process. And uh, <clears throat> you have to bear in mind, this was written for 14 musicians. So 12 of them cannot be here this evening uh, due to unforeseen circumstances. Uh, there's been a lot of cutbacks here, <laughs> so you have to use your imagination, uh, fermentation, and then we're going to follow it with the last section in the Well Park Suite, which is um, a Glasgow celebration. So, on two harps only, so there's a lot of things missing. We have to dedicate this one to Carol <coughs> D'Angelo. She um, did oh, a lot of work booking our tour in America, and she's booked, done all our bookings over there. I'm sure some of you know her also as the director of Somerset Folk Harp Festival. So I don't know if she had time to tune in because she's so busy um, working on getting the festival up and running online and everything like that um, and making plans for you all so that we can have a great festival. So um, but we'll dedicate this to Cathy anyway. And also I know there's a few members from the Music Generation Mayo Harp Ensemble who are tuning in and this is a piece we've been working on <laughs> seems like ages now because the last three rehearsals we were supposed to have have all been cancelled so eventually we'll finish working on this piece and we hope you enjoy it so that's a great bunch of 32 young musicians and we really miss seeing you all in person so hopefully it won't be too long now Thank you. 
So um, we're going to continue now because we don't want to keep you too late. We're going to play um, two tunes for you now. The first one is called Lord Mazarine, which is another composition of Trilico Carolyn. And then we'll follow that with another of Patrick Davies' tunes. The second tune is called The Rectory Wheel. And um, this is one that we've recorded. Unfortunately, our duo CD isn't available anymore. Um, it's actually sold out. Um, but you can find some of the music um, on our other solo CDs. And if Patrick is there, he might like to put a link to his um, collection of compositions. If you enjoyed The Burma Road and this one, The Rectory Reel, he has a, a collection of compositions called Tunes of Note, I think. So um, we'll play Lord Mazarine and The Rectory Reel for you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. 
and helping musicians to bring Irish music overseas um, have launched a new initiative called Ireland Performs um, because obviously nobody's travelling now with, with concerts and so on and so we're actually um, we're delighted to be um, chosen to participate in that so um, we're going to play some different pieces or if your friends missed it or if you want to tell anyone about it that'll be through um, Facebook Live from my page and you can also access it through Culture Ireland that's on Monday at 12.30. We'd like to say so thank you so so much to Sally and Streamside Music for this great initiative and um, Keep Music Live project and she was very generous with her time trying to help us get set up and everything for this. Oh, you probably can't hear me again now. I'll go forward a bit more. And we'd especially like to thank you all for for joining us from Russia and Australia and Canada and America and of course Ireland from um wherever you and Italy I saw somebody there from Italy as well so um and Israel I think as well so thank you so much for for coming along and listening to us and we hope you enjoyed if we plan to do more we're going to try and get a, a microphone so the sound will be better the next time um and we'd especially like to thank anyone of our friends and family we miss you all so it's delighting it, we're delighted that you're able to join us and see us here like this so um until we get out on the road touring again um, stay safe everyone and have a lovely Easter and um, thanks again for joining us. This is Elizabeth Kelly's favourite.
this is the trouble now we can't exactly leave so um <laughs> thanks again for joining us thanks Sam.